Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Serie A jersey review. As you know Serie A is my favorite league and so the jersey review for Serie A is always my favorite one. I kept it for last of the big leagues that I'm reviewing that I've been doing reviews so far. Uh, not only keep best for last but also I know that Serie A more than any other league is likely to release jerseys uh, during the season later on I'm sure that during the editing process that one of the big teams is for sure gonna issue another special jersey so yeah wearing a jersey that Milan uh, became champions in so very happy about that but before we go a little bit further into the review I also would like to know from you where should I take the jersey reviews next I really would like to do one should I go to you know look at uh, the group stages of the three European competitions uh, and get a little bit more eclectic with uh, internationality and so on or should I do for the first time an Eredivisie or Liga Portugal jersey review um, where I don't have as many jerseys as I have for like Serie A or others but it could also be interesting to do so so please let, let me know in the comments below in any case all the jerseys that I'm gonna show you in here I will rate on a scale from 1 to 10 with 1 being the worst 10 being the best it's a very personal rating this is how I feel this jerseys and I try to do it as live as possible um, I also take all the pictures from Football Kit Archive, which is a, a web page. If you're interested in jerseys, that I can highly re recommend because you can see, look through the histories of most teams and also go league by league and see what is on offer there. Now, the way I decide on which team goes in which video, we have here 20 teams, which I split into four. So we have five teams in each video. I'll take last season standings, go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And then the team is assigned to the video and so Juve we have Lazio we have Udinese we have Bologna and we have Monza for the first time in Serie A and as usual I'm sorting the teams in alphabetic fashion so we are starting with the team that I'm wearing which of course is Bologna still with Macron and if you didn't know Macron is of course based in Bologna so they are the original Macron team I always have to repeat uh, that little factoid there. Um, the Bologna home jersey goes back to a classic half-half look because Bologna very, very often had kind of this uh, striped but in a half-half way, which I actually do uh, like. What I don't like is kind of the fade in between the stripes. That's a little bit off. I do like the collar. I do like the sleeve cuffs. I actually do like the sponsor. I didn't know you've already seen it. I actually do like the Kazoo sponsor, sponsor, although I'm not sure how much sense it makes within the context of Bologna. Uh, I did like this sponsor, Leo Joe, that I think they had only for one or two, two seasons. I actually did like that one even better. But as far as Bologna jerseys go, this one is probably as good almost as it gets. Uh, you know, the fade takes it down a little bit still. I'm gonna go eight stars with this one. Uh, also, the away jersey, there's nothing really wrong with it. Um, maybe I'll, while I like the sleeve cuffs in the two in the club's colors, uh, that the color is three is probably the, 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 the um, dark blue is a little bit too thick. I liked last season because there was a little bit a nod to the city in there, a teeny bit better, but it's not a bad uh, jersey overall. But it's also you know not as exciting let's be honest as well um just a little bit average a little bit more specialty effects could have been nice so i'm gonna go six bologna carry over from last season their third jersey um that i actually like last season i still do like it honestly the only thing i wish is that the sash was complete and not kind of uh fading away that is a jersey that i have in mind as well of getting potentially uh because you know it would add another color it's not only always fear for fiorentina and yellow there because other than that i have a gold milan jersey and the and the uh, off colored uh, milan away jersey but other than that yeah it would add a little bit pizzazz in there and i do enjoy it i stay with the same grade eight stars if the sash was complete this would be nine if not uh, a little bit more than that they also have released a really, really, really classy um, collaboration jersey. I don't get me with the brand now. In light pink. I love the historic looking color. 
uh, full color crest. Everything there is really, really nice. I even think that the pink is not so bad because, you know, uh, we have red as a uh, club color. So I think the pink kind of fits there as well. It looks a little bit more of a shirt. It has a very historic look to it. I can very well see Bologna having played in the 30s or in the uh, 20s in something looking uh, somewhat similar to this one, of course, without any sponsors on, on, on there. I do like this one, uh, although it is very. Uh, there is something. Re there's a real class in there. This might. This is the best Bologna jersey this season. Uh, gonna give it a straight nine stars. And we're moving on to the old lady with Juventus. After having, uh, except for a horrible sponsor, a nearly picture perfect home kit last season, we have something a little bit more adventurous this time. This time the famous black stripes are made out of loads of triangles and they're also a little bit thinner. It's like the brush stripes that we had before. Kind of making it more of a white jersey than a true uh, Bianco Neri jersey. Um, so yeah, also the Jeep logo with all the flashes in there might look cool, but it uh, doesn't really go with the shirt honestly. I think a black Jeep would just do fine. However, on the flip side, the Jeep is outlined. There's no black bar. It actually looks really, really, really nice this way. And it's very legible as well. You don't need much more. And even for Juventus, I honestly didn't mind like uh, up here, a little black bar going. So yeah, I black and white jerseys are, as I always say, my home turf. Uh, this one leaves me a little bit wanting. I have I have, I have said there have been nicer ones, but I do, I do get what they want. Uh, they also kept the white spaces there broad enough to house the Juve logo and the Adidas logo, but it could be a whole lot better. To me, it's just an average effort. And for that reason, I'm gonna go with six stars here. Gotta say the away jersey though. That is a cold, completely different animal. There's also a little bit of brush stroke and striped effect in there as well. The Jeep logo here with the flashes looks a whole lot better. And there's something about a black Juventus shirt that always hits the right chord with me. Uh, it's not an away color that I would kind of recognize saying this is typically Juve, but there's something about a black Juve shirt that is always kind of nice. And in Adidas, Cannot go wrong with that. The only thing is it could be a teeny bit more exciting, like the, the whatever is on the shirt could come out a little bit more. But I'm willing to give this, um, yeah, let's go eight here, because the third jersey is just a royal mess. Uh, first, uh, credit, credit, where credit is due, the cheap logo is not black, it is in blue here, because otherwise it would have been a complete mess. Either decide, do I wanna go Blue, do I want to go pink? The mixture of the colors already makes this jersey a dot. Um, the pattern, I don't know what psychedelic thing that should be. Because it is, but psychedelic things are a little bit more colorful. This is not colorful. It actually is a muddied um, pink jersey. Worn with blue pants, which admittedly doesn't, doesn't look that bad, but I have, have to say this was a, a jersey that just, uh, I didn't get it. It goes straight into the trash heap for me. Two stars. I do not like this one. This to me is worse than the one in yellow and blue that they issued a uh, uh, couple of seasons ago. Going over to Lazio, Lazio have changed manufacturer away from Macron to Mizuno, who making a comeback. We saw them already for Bochum, but of course Lazio is a much more high profile club in a way being just by the pure fact that they're based in one of the most iconic cities in Europe. And cannot complain about the home jersey. Uh, it is classic light blue Lazio and we have a little effect in there. We have the eagle from the famous eagle jersey. Let's pull it up. This eagle here, we have the print going all over the home jersey, which adds a nice effect and a kind of a nice way to recognize it and distinguish it. Um, 
a sponsor, maybe a yeah, logo with this is maybe one thing that doesn't look old all the good, but all overall, I think this is a quite a nice jersey overall. Uh, again, I will go this with eight stars uh, because there's a pattern in, in it that makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. I have to say that the outstanding jersey is probably this third jersey, which yet yeah, this swooping thing around the Mizuno logo. And the Museum, Mizuno logo is one that I always find a little, little bit odd is supposedly the eagle olympia in flight okay whatever the black with those colors it looks really really cool and then they use the an old style lazio crest from the 80s which i think adds a little bit more yes i do like the main crest a little bit more but there's something about this this one there's some um you know no nostalgia attached to it and then the yellow the yellow uh, sponsor uh, uh, also fits quite, uh, quite, quite nice. It's an outstanding look. Is it all Lazio? Maybe not. But you know, for an away jersey in dark, I think it works surprisingly well. I actually want to give this a nine star. This, this is a really cool Lazio jer uh, jersey. And you know, I would like to have Kaka kind of an alternate and this one could fit in there. I do not get, however, the third jersey. I do see a need for a white Lazio jersey, but the way that the sleeves are done, this is kind of a reverse Napoli. Uh, every, everything gets lighter up top, but it's also, it, it looks like grafted on. That's what I, I mean, I really like the crest that kind of has a little um, metallic, she also a color gradient in it. That's not bad, but the way the shoulders are, it's it's a little bit of standard. It's not a bad jersey. Don't go wrong. It's not a bad, bad jersey. I'm not, not, not going to go a low grade here. Um, but it's not better than the previous two. That is what I definitely have to say. And, you know, since it's not, not better, but it's still a very useful and nice church jersey. The uh, Lazio logo actually is recognizable. I'm going to go with a 7 here. But I wish that the shoulders, you know, if this gradient would uh, look a little bit more, but not this, this line. It could look better. It could look better how you do all the shoulders. Other than that, uh, really, really nice overall look. It got to be said Monza Lotto the only Lotto team I was actually look low looking forward to Monza because I knew they will have red and you know if you look at my background a uh, bright red is missing so Monza would be an absolute prime candidate to fill that void however I like the base design but the sponsor especially there's one sponsor that ruins it I'm, I don't even mind the Motorola sponsor honestly I think this fits quite nicely because it doesn't interfere with the band that's going through the crest that is actually nice the team is also celebrating seemingly it's 110th birthday so it's also there that's nice the U power completely destroys this shirt for me really it makes this shirt positively look cheap and I don't mind the Lotto logos. If you take the U-Power away, and maybe the Motorola, if it's just the Motorola logo, not a written mode, not Motorola, this would look uh, a really, really cool jer jersey. But this way, especially the U-Power, I mean, the Lotto is also something, but especially the U-Power makes it look rather cheap. I gotta say, a, a five star, five, five star. And it actually looks worse on the away jersey because WTF, why is the Motorola not in red? I mean, the U-Power fits now with the uh, the rest of the jersey. Much better than on the previous one, where the lion was in yellow. So here it actually fits somehow. And then the Motorola doesn't fit. And then the Del Lorto, uh, yes, Italian colors. That's even worse. This is without having too many sponsors on there. I don't know, you know, no, not even talking about the patch, uh, the patch, because that has to be there. But... It cheapens the look considerably that I'm going as low as three with this one because it really does not look right. The third jersey in light blue is better. Uh, I do like the double stripe here, uh, which makes sense. Again, the logos are a little bit too colorful in there, but I, I actually don't mind them as much. This is probably among all those that I've shown it the, the best one without being an outstanding jersey. I'm sorry, I really love to see Lotto uh, jerseys, but all of these don't quite cut it. It's all down to the sponsor. Why do we need the sponsor right here? Berlusconi has enough money. We, you wouldn't need that many sponsors, honestly. So yeah, I'm gonna give this 5-1.
a uh, five one a five uh, grid as well and we end it all the way in the northeast in udine where udinese have released an interesting striped jerseys of different widths with the trap uh well a lozenge kind of going there um there is another sponsor in place. So the Dutch is the top sponsor. The other one is the, uh, the bottom sponsor. It looks a little bit weird here. I actually do like the San, San, San Daniele Prosciutto uh, logo because I like San Daniele, San, San, San Daniele Prosciutto. It's a local brand. Um, but yeah, uh, the Dutch could have been in black. Uh, but overall, it's not the greatest Udinese shirt, but I find it all right. About seven in this configuration. About seven. Uh, I do get the little bit big, uh, the the pattern because you know you see the Udinese crest. There is a little bit of a triangular thing going on as well. So I'm gonna go a seven here. Obviously alternates that bug me a little bit more. Um, you know the away jersey it doesn't do anything special. It's the same template. Uh, it is a light yellow with black. Okay, could be a nice Dortmund jersey but it is overall rather bland and unexciting and a little bit too temp template because you know the way that the color looks and there's a gap and there's a, a black shoulder cannot go higher honestly i cannot go higher than five here and i don't really see the point of the third jersey a the colors the beige is not too distinct from the yellow and then where the heck is the orange coming from I mean, the club's colors are presented basically by the sponsor and the uh, supplier and San Daniele. Prosciutto. Not like, not feeling this one like at all. Not my favorite jersey. Let's end it on a slight bum note this entire Serie A jersey review with a four star. And there you have it all of the Serie A jerseys that I could find so far. I'm sure there will be more released. I can see Napoli releasing. Another jersey, uh, I can see uh, Puma come, come out with a fourth kit like they did last, last season. You know, and Nike always does some, something like that. So uh, we're surely not done with releasing shit, but those are the ones that I could find as of mid-January. In any case, please let me know which jerseys in here did you like. Uh, where do you agree? Where do you disagree with my ratings? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!